Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, we will see some of the operations related to the data that we have imported. So things like uh, changing the name, that means renaming the name or uh, dropping the name or columns, let's say if they are not uh, useful as well as uh, identifying or changing the data types which is a necessary operation in case uh, we have seen that uh, prop proper uh, data type has not been assigned so if you remember from the previous video we have entered this uh, sample superstore data set inside the power bi and now to modify this what we need to do is go in the edit queries and click on edit queries this will open up a new window for us as you can see and uh, over here this is the basic window or the first window and this is the new window altogether for the query editor as you can see the name is query editor and a lot of option has been given uh, under the tabs like home transform add column and view so let's see some of the uh, basic information about uh, processing the metadata metadata that means uh, the information about columns how we can change the data type and drop the columns and things like that so for example we have uh, something like days ship to actual and if you see if i double click on this column or any other column like for example sales forecast or ship status it basically allows me to change the name so for example if i want ship status and put an underscore over there and enter ship underscore status is basically the new name and this formula bar basically says the for actual formula in the back end which is working that is table dot rename columns and the change type is basically one of its property from ship status to ship underscore status not only this but over here if you see this section which is applied state steps it shows that you have renamed the column once you click on this it will basically select this particular column so for example if i come here and select this this particular uh, rename column over here then it basically reflects the changes which has been done over there by showing you this and if you want to uh, undo the operation you can click on this cross icon over here and uh, this will ship status is moved to its original uh, state which is ship space status now uh, if that is uh, that once you are done with this uh, you want to uh, let's say delete this column let's say ship status is something which is not useful or maybe sales forecast is not useful if that is what your needs are then you can select this column and click over here remove column button this will remove the column once i click on this the column has been removed but its entry has been made over here and let's say if later i have made i have changed my mind and want to come back or wants to restate that column then i can click on this and this column is back so this is an amazing uh, basically a window which keeps on showing you what you have changed or what steps that you have applied on the sample superstore so that in the future if one step or two step that you have to roll back because of uh, any reasons then you can roll back those steps or if you want to showcase to your end user what are the data massaging or the data cleaning steps that you have taken all of those steps have will that you can show it from here and uh, it will be easy for anyone to understand what what kind of uh, changes that you have applied so that's about how you can uh, rename and change the column let's look at how you can change the data type so to change the data type you can come over here in the transform and here is basically a data type which is a by default whole number that it has detected but let's say you have seen that in some of the cases it is whole number but actually in some cases it's a decimal number so you can have a decimal number you can have fixed decimal number as well as you think that it's not basically number but date and time you can change it to date and time based on what is uh, uh, given to you and your best understanding of the data now as a special case what happens is in case of true and false 
or binary is that zero or one is given to you and uh, generally it you will see that uh, this is detecting as a whole number whereas it is basically a true and false information or a binary information so if if this is what uh, you will see and observe from the data that it has selected the wrong type of the data type then you can come over here in the transform under the query editor and change it based on the needs that you have so this way you will make sure that uh, whatever uh, data that you need in the front end is making sense because once you apply the aggregation it will first look up the data type what type of data it is and then it applies the aggregation or the formula that uh, is of your interest so that's that's like few of the steps you will encounter doing it more and more so i thought of uh, uh, have helping you with this about how you can do this if you are absolutely new into the power bi so for again revising this uh, renaming double click and rename it that's one way of doing it uh, if you want to remove select the column come over here remove the column if you want to change the data type select the column change the data type from here to whatever is best as per the data understanding that you have so that's pretty much it all about uh, the beginner steps uh, that you will encounter uh, using it based on the data cleaning steps that you need to take there are more and more as you can see there are a lot of different like add column view transform home all of these things uh, which we will see in separate videos so that we will build up our knowledge step by step